that's on prescription medication, they can't afford it. They can't pay for it. Um, you know, one of the things that I would like to see changed in the future is that somebody doesn't need an address to get a simple white card. Um, I think that would change a lot for the mental health of people. There's a lot of people that are on the streets um, that just don't have access to their medicine and they're a lot harder to house when they're not as stable. You know, some of them once they have access to their prescriptions and uh, they get regulated, they're a little easier to work with and uh, I think it's just sad that not everybody has access to the things that they need. And then I went on it and uh, like happens with a lot of people with a mental illness, once I started to feel better, I thought, hey, this medication, I don't need this medication. And so I did wean off um, and it, it was not so great outcome. Uh, we've come to the realization that I will always uh, need to be supported by some sort of medication. Um, me personally, um, I don't take prescription medication, but there are people in my family who do. And my mom, she has a blood clotting disease. And if she doesn't take this medication, her blood will clot, her arteries, her main veins, and she could die. And so for me, I've witnessed that since I was a little kid, and I've seen the effects of her changing her medication even, or the dosage, and that could mean an episode, and that could mean a stroke, and we've seen her go through a couple of them and end up in the hospital. And so, for me, if she didn't have that, then she wouldn't be alive today. So, I can't imagine her ever going a day without it.